believe that Jesus's redemption is for the whole of creation and uh, therefore we need to be looking at a vision of what a redeemed natural world looks like as well as redeemed people um, and it's that kingdom vision and that kingdom building that I'm working towards in the small things that I can do every day to serve God, to build his kingdom um, by caring for the whole of God's creation. As a Christian, I think it's really important that we consider the environment because we're asked by God to be stewards. When I see the graphs of how warm the world is becoming and the way that that's affecting the planet, I'm nervous. But then when I, I hear the actions that people are taking and to, when we hear things coming out of COP26 and some of the promises being made there, I become more hopeful. I think the Christian faith always gives us hope to know that God has a plan. Uh, and so I will always have that hope to know that the future is in safe hands. The verse in Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it and all that dwell in it, um, motivates me because I do feel that um, we need to, to take into account that God has created this amazing thing for us and we are here to look after it and, um, and including all of the people on it. And obviously climate change has a huge impact on the poorest nations and I do feel that it's our responsibility as a wealthy nation to do all we can to try to mitigate those effects um, but also that um, can include a sacrificial kind of lifestyle um, so not jumping on a plane when you want to go on holiday that kind of thing. Thinking and working with climate change all the time I do recognise climate anxiety in my own life. I found the most effective way of dealing with that is to uh, be proactive um, in taking action on climate change, or doing what I can do in my own life and in my work, but also spending time in nature and meeting with God in his creation, uh, I find really inspiring and helps me to be hopeful. There's a passage about God being able to provide more than we can pray for or even imagine that we've just seen time and time again here a whole kind of abundance theology whereas you know if we're doing what God wants us to do he provides whether it's the bikes the customers the team the spare parts we just see abundance my prayer would be that the whole world would engage with this not just the church but everybody uh, realizes that, that they all have a part to play um, and that we take it seriously really quickly because time is running out. <laughs>